Hi and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here, welcome, my name's Simone. Today I'm doing something a little bit different for Food Hall Friday. Um, usually I shop at Marks and Spencers and Tesco's, but today I have shopped at a local shop called Top Banana. If you are here just to see what items that I've got, I will put a timestamp back down below and you should be able to see like where it is on the screen now so that you can fast forward to it. So yeah, usually I would shop at Tesco's and Lots and Spencer's, but we've been in lockdown, we've come out of it now, but this video was from a couple of weeks ago. And um, the shop top banana, I have made a video of this shop be before where I take you around and show you all of the different items that they've got. There should be the thumbnail photo of that video here and a link above if you want to check them out. So I'm on the Isle of Man, um, if you are new here, and Tesco's is the only UK store that delivers, they don't have a click and collect service. So because a lot of my audience is from America, in the UK there's quite a few supermarkets where you can order, say, now at 9 o'clock in the morning and then you can get a delivery tomorrow. And there's click and collect service, I think Aldi's got that as well. So you've got quite a lot of variety, um, like in terms of shops supermarkets to go to but here that's not the case so I've only had four Tesco shops in the last almost three years of living here it's really really hard to try and get a slot and I'm just thinking now I think the population is about 85,000 so that one supermarket is like delivering to, to the population so you can imagine how hard it is to try and get a slot there are supermarkets like, like say Marks and Spencers, but they don't deliver. Shoprite, Co-op Shop as well, and then little local shops. And there's also like, I think, you know, like farm shops and things like that. But with Top Banana, um, if you've seen the video, I really love that they have a lot of loose items and they've got eco-friendly packaging. So like, say for example, if you're getting lentils and you put it in one of the packaging, it might be in a brown paper bag or it might be in like, a, looks like plastic, but it, you can put it in a compost heap, you can recycle it. Um, so they have a lot of like loose items, such as lentils, pasta, coffee, soya, seitan, pulses. They even have like um, washing detergent loose as well. They've got a lot of vegan items and they've got different pastas made out of all sorts of different things like black beans out of rice and um, gluten-free pastas and um, they have vegan cheeses and all sorts of different stuff I can't tell you how many different items they've got so when I go there it's fantastic because I can get the items and it saves me going on Amazon and um, waiting ages for it to deliver because even though I've got Prime if I if I order, like in the UK, it comes a day after, but on the Isle of Man, it can take like a week or two for items to come. So it's just really convenient to get things from there that I'm not able to get in the supermarket. Because I couldn't get a slot, I'm in lockdown. And I, like I said, I really like going and shopping there. I saw that they've got the website, um, Top Banana, but they also have another website as well. Um, I'll, I'll put the name down below and I'm going to list all of the details in the description box if you want to check them out. So on the Top Banana site, um, they have a lot of the loose items but they didn't have it on the other one. And on the other one they had like nappies for example but they didn't have it on the Top Banana. But when I got in touch with them they said that I can order online from both websites and then the, you can either pay online or it says um, pay on delivery. So to click that and then I wouldn't be charged um, twice for the um, for the delivery cost. I think it was £3.95 or something like that for it, be, for it to be delivered. It, um, so it was really simple and easy to um, order everything online. And I think that it came to about £127, which is what I would usually spend at Tesco's and Marks and Spencer's. But I do feel like I had a few less items. However, I did get these skinny syrups to try out and to do a review on and they were £4 each and I bought three of them so that took my shopping up a little bit. Um, but the kids, they really liked all of the food that we bought from there. Um, as I was saying, there's a wide variety, why oh, I gotta get my words, that a wide variety of different items. And I really love the jumbo oats from there, they're so nice. And like I'm saying, they're in like a loose packaging, which you'll see in the video. 
Um, so I ordered and then they rang me the day after to tell me that they was going to be delivering it the following day and they came and as I was saying most of the packaging that everything came in like they didn't have loads of carrier bags they had boxes um, and they had um, like I was saying about the oats and the lentils they were in like little paper bags and they were just so friendly and nice when they arrived and um, and they said uh, that was that reminds me because when they rang me to tell me the day that they was going to be delivering um, I said oh do you want me to pay now and they said oh no just pay um, we'll ring you like the day after we deliver the items which is amazing because honestly I don't think there's any place that I've ever been to where you order something and you don't have to pay for it beforehand um, so they rang me I think it was the day after the delivery and I paid or, um, over the phone with my card um, but again, they asked me was everything all right, and just to let them know if I wanted to deliver, deliver. If oh, I can't get my words out, sorry. If I wanted another delivery again in the future, but now we're out of lockdown, I do really like going and have a look in having a look in the actual shop. So I'll more than likely go in the store and buy some bits and bobs. But it's just not. It's really really nice knowing that I've ordered with them, and if I want to order again, it's really simple, and that I can get so many different items. I did have some things left in the freezer and the fridge like frozen berries and things like that because that's one of the things that they didn't have so if you've seen my other hauls I really like to get frozen berries um, the selection of the fruit and veg isn't as much as a supermarket but again I really feel like with it being a local shop you know they're not going to have the buying power of say Tesco or somewhere else the variety is absolutely amazing and I really feel like it's awesome when you can support local and they do have a lot of um, like if you're wanting to get meat and things like that they're getting the meat from the local butchers and they have like Manx potatoes they have the local butter um, and things like that and bread um, so yeah it was a really really good um, experience and um, of ordering and I definitely would recommend them and I would do it again by the way I'm not being sponsored for this video or anything I just wanted to um, make a different type of video and if anyone from the island man is thinking of ordering um, then I hope that that this helps so now I'm going to show you the haul I did plan on filming all of the meals but as you will have noticed if you've watched my other videos I haven't put any photos in for a few weeks I've just found that it's been really really time consuming making the food and then taking a photo or Ryan's made the food or whatever so if I've not got photos here um, I apologize if, if that's one thing that you do really like me doing or putting footage in and things like that then please leave me a comment down below and then I can make more of an effort to do it or even like a what we ate in a day or something like that I'm always open to suggestions if you are new here thank you so much for coming over I appreciate it and for my regular friends that come over thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching my videos and commenting I really really again I'm getting all tongue-tied I really really love reading your messages and replying to them so I'm going to show you the haul now um, if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up and please leave me a comment and subscribe if you're new I am plant-based my family is not so um, you know I adapt meals so there are some things that I've not been able to get but I do have in the freezer like berries and things like that but I'll talk about it later anyway so we've got um, um, organic oats because we have oats every morning so I bought one kg's worth so it came to £2.52 but these are organic jumbo oats oh sorry I really love that they come in this and um, a lot of the items have come in this and in um, cardboard boxes as well so they, they do this the shop does a lot to help the environment um, a lot of items are zero waste in there we've got white spelt flour to make bread and I've got some dried yeast here as well. I've got wholemeal flour and some red split lentils for lentil dal. Um, I'm sure I've seen these on Mummy Clean's channel. These are skinny whip. Um, so I got these for the kids to try. And then these biscuits for Ryan and the kids. These aren't vegan. They've got um, milk in both of these. But I've got some dark chocolate. Um, which I got last week in my Tesco haul if you want to check that out we've got three onions and two courgettes this is um, chicken fillets I think these were £4.50 or I can't remember actually sorry how much they were um, 450 grams and I think it was about £4 and um, they're fresh from the butchers and um, 
these here I'm going to be doing a review on these separately. I've got uh, the white chocolate skinny syrup, the zero calories, and this golden syrup one. And I've got a garlic mayo. If I've tried them when I've, by the time I upload this, I will put like a little remark down of what we think of them. But they've got loads of different flavours, but I wanted to try these. So this has made my shop go up a little bit. And um, obviously they'll last a, a bit, but I wanted to do a separate review um, separate review on them. Um, these I've never seen before. I love spelt. And um, apparently these are good to put in like soups or salad risottos. Um, the tomato, basil and spelt risotto. I'm looking forward to trying this. So for 100 grams, um, proteins 2.7 grams it said, but yeah, I really like spelt, so I thought that would be nice. And then I got um, four tins of chopped tomatoes because we use them pretty much every day. Another one of the spelts. Then I got this extra firm silken style tofu. I got the wrong one, I wanted the, um, the harder one, but I'll be able to do something with this anyway, um, it says soups and salads, um, I have been making like some sauces and I'm thinking about making like a vegan mayo with it, um, I've got two packs of eggs and then we've got the Oatly um, organic drinks for porridges and for me making lot, um, lattes, um, there's four, four there for the porridges and then these two are the barista ones which I will use for the coffee machine over there um, this is the formable one I really really like that one um, I like this brand but I've never tried this one before so this is organic low salt gravy granules I really love gravy um, we've got this iceberg lettuce and then there's four lemons two courgettes there wasn't loads and loads of um, fresh fruits and um, vegetables so I got um, this mixed veg two packs of that to go through so much veg broccoli florets and sliced green beans and then I got this vegetable protein bowls to make like a vegan bolognese with I got these corn chicken dippers for the kids and then we've got fish fingers and four chicken burgers and I've got some buns here to make some chicken burgers for Ryan and the kids. I've had this before which is a sourdough cob and it's gluten free and vegan. It's frozen, really really nice. Um, local butter, um, salted butter and then we've got over here, I've never tried this before, this is um, Italian sunrise tomato and chunky vegetable pasta. I'm wondering if the soya one was sold out and um, what I ordered, but I, I usually make my own pasta sauces, but the one that I was going to get it had soya in it, but we can we can maybe use that with the meatballs. I've got some chickpeas for a chickpea curry. Um, the korma is for the chicken. I'm going to make a chicken um, korma and I'm going to um, put some tofu. Um, I'm going to make myself a separate tofu with some of that silken tofu and some spices. Um, I make my own baked beans but I bought a tin of baked beans for lunch for the kids for one day and this um, is Thai food, um, they didn't have Yorkshire tea so I got that one. Got some nappies for mica and some wipes. Because they didn't have any fresh peppers I decided to get this, I really like it though, this red roasted peppers. And then I got the kids some jam, um, this and lemon, lemon and lime. lime, I bet you can't wait for that can you? <laughs> Yeah. You've never tried that one, have you, before? No, no, no. Um, and then we've got some vegan sliced bio life for me. And for the family, some mature no. cheddar, which is local off the island. No. And then this, I hope I pronounce it right, fenugreek. Um, I've been seeing some um, women on the natural hair journeys um, using fenugreek um, in masks and clays and things like that. So, um stay tuned if you want to see some videos with me trying this out on my hair and rosemary and some other things as well um, then I will put a link down below when I get around to uploading that um, and then lastly I've got loads of carrots I think I've got about 2 kgs worth of carrots because we make soups add them to bolognese I've got this um, button up squash which I'm going to use for soup and then we've got loads of local Manx potatoes um, I think I got about 2 kgs worth and then we've got this Ramsey bread which is made on the island, um, 2 loaves of this. So, oh and we've got some um, spaghetti as well, um, this is yeah, um, wheat one, so like I said they have a lot of items that 
or um, you know you can go and help yourself when you're in the store so we really hope that you liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye, bye.